You don't have as much time as you think you have. So if you really want to do something great, wait the fuck up. Like I'll go broke telling the truth before I become a fraud. I was born to be a fighter, had these dreams and desires. I would be something better. Energy got a fire in my soul to keep burning. A pain that keeps Okay, that's the biggest thing. Most people aren't open-minded any anymore to doing things a different way. Okay, it's like it's like you came up, you watch this program, you watch this, you learn from this guy, and now that's how you're programmed. Bro, you better be open-minded, man. If you got a fixed mindset, you're and you're going to get dusted by somebody like me or like someone else who's like, dude, I'm totally cool with changing the game at any point. Okay. Now, it doesn't mean my core values change. It means that technology is evolving, evolving. Things are changing. Things are changing. Like we've got to be up every day and know that today we could make a, a change and pivot. My whole company is ready to change at any moment. I can walk into a meeting right now and say, guys, we're completely changing. Everybody's like, boom, what is it? Let's go. They're ready to change now. But most companies, you walk into the change, you're like, oh, here's another change. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like the leader sets the tone for all the people. That's what I would tell you is that like, dude, it's just it's it's never been easier to be great right now. We're in the era of the biggest amateur in the history of time, from business owner to influencer to salesperson to leader. So like if you want to mark your stake, do it fucking now. And the deal is I want you to know everybody you look up to, they're gonna fuck up. Mm. Just know this. They're gonna fuck up, they're not perfect, they make mistakes all the time, and they're normal people. Lean into that shit. And when they fuck up, be like, yes, I knew you were human, dude. I love that <laughs> shit. But guess what? Watch them own their shit. Say, hey, guys, I fucked up. That's my bad, man. Yeah. You're very okay. open with your, your fuck ups, your mistakes. Dude, if you're not, you're fake. Yeah. Dude, I don't want people to think I'm hiding something. L listen, somebody says, hey, Andy, I heard that this happened. I'm like, bro, it was way worse than that. <laughs> okay. They fucking told you like 10% of what happened. Yeah. It was really way worse. <laughs> but the point is, is I changed. Like, I'm not that fucking dude anymore, man. Like, you're not talking to that guy. Like, that guy, we wouldn't even be talking if that guy still existed. Mm -hmm. So my point is, is that I recreated, I changed, okay, recreation, and I became a different person. The old is gone, the new is here. It's biblical. However you feel, I'm a different man. I got a different heart. I've got a different perspective. I've got different eyes. I've got different intentions. And by the way, you said something about salespeople earn. I was talking about commission breath. A salesperson intentions will decide whether he's a good salesman or a bad one. So I just want to tell you like intentions are everything to me. And that's why I'm just saying like, dude, like it's, it's just, it's just easy to win right now, man. Okay. Like think about write down on a piece of paper, like everything that you think that your hero would be, and then just become that. And they do listen right now. The world's thirsty for leaders. Families are thirsty for leaders. Businesses are thirsty for leaders. The world is thirsty for leaders. So if you want to build something great, it's not how cool you are. It's about how great of a leader you are. It's not about how much money you have. People say, oh, I got a hundred million dollars in a private jet. Don't give a fuck. Do I want to be like you? That's all I know. Like, do I want to live like you? Do I like your perspective? Do I like the way that you see things? You know what I'm saying? Like, like I need, I need to find people that have a good perspective on life. Yeah. And then I want to steal that, you know, and I want to become that. You know what I mean? And so anyway, so that's who I, that's who I search. That's why me and Bradley are so close. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Bradley has one of the greatest perspectives of all. You know, I'll sit there with him. We're, we're always, I'm going on vacation with him next week for 10 more days. Like him, my family, all our kids are best friends. We all run together. But we'll, we sit in there, dude. We, we never talk about money. We never talk about nothing. He's just wow. like, dude, he's like, dude, if I wake up tomorrow and my kids are alive, what a fucking life, man. Mm. My kids are healthy. What a life. He's like, dude, we're so fucking lucky, man. He's just always reminding even me, but in himself, like how lucky we are. Yeah, dude, he's so fucking grateful, man. Mm -hmm. Which is why everything that he goes into, like if you're, in a, uh, 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 if he can smell that your intentions are bad, or you're, he's like, fuck you, dude, I don't need your money. I've watched, I had a guy try to make a deal one time. Now, I'll give you two, this is why you gotta stand on your own. A guy tried to make a $100 million deal with Brad, which would have been very easy. Brad wouldn't do very much. Brad didn't believe, okay, in his, the way that he ran. And Brad's like, fuck that, not worth the money. Doesn't matter. No, because I'm not gonna tie my name to that. Right, so I don't need the fucking money. So you need to understand this. Like, you be careful trying to make decisions off of people with money. Turn down money decisions all the time. Do business with people that are like who you want to run with. And then I was at an event one time, right? And Brad hates it when people fucking lie. Like, if you lie to him one time, so we have a rule in our company. If you ask my team, I tell them, if I lie to you one time, pack your shit and get up out of here. Because wow. it's you don't need to be with me no more. Because I'm a fucking piece of shit. Because I'm a liar. Yeah. So I hold myself accountable by telling them that if I lie, you leave. So now I know I can never lie to them. It's a great accountability tool. Yeah. But me and Brad are in Miami. Um, he, we're doing this event. 
And there's this, you know, there's rebook at the end, which is where like at the end, it's like, hey guys, I got this mastermind, it's $50,000 if you guys want to join. You know, there's a couple thousand people, you know, 20 or 30 of them will raise their hand, makes a million and a half and they do this mastermind, right? right. And we we're in the elevator and with, with the guy that was holding the event. I won't say his name, but the guy, he said something. Mm -hmm. And Brad goes, that's not the fucking truth, man. He said that out loud? Yeah. And the guy goes, oh yeah, well, Brad, will you know? And Brad's like, oh, man, fuck. So it's at the end of the event. We just finished speaking. We just finished talking. And Brad was supposed to go up and do the, do the rebook. We yeah. call it a rebook or, you know, resell the crowd on the next deal. And Brad got up there and I love this, man. And then after this, I was like, dude, that's my leader. <laughs> like this, he goes, he goes, guys, uh, I'm to a point now where I'm supposed to talk to you guys about a mastermind that I'm going to be doing with you. But uh, you guys all have flyers in your hands. You see it? I'm not doing it. I love you guys. Thank you for being here at the event. If you buy that package, I won't be there. I want to tell all you guys, I'm grateful. I appreciate you. Um, I'm not going to say anything bad about it. If you guys want to sign up, just know that I won't be there. I love you. So over money, doesn't matter. He was very clear because I love you guys. I will not be there, but, but thank you for being here. You know, we only have so many heartbeats in life. You guys have given me yours. I gave you mine today. Thank you. I want you to go home, have a better life, recreate yourself, take your family and your business to another level. Have a blessed day. And he walked off and I go, man, that's what I'm fucking talking about. A guy that can finally stand up for what's right. And I saw that and I go, dude, now I'm really leaning into the truth. Now I know I'm not afraid to lose my business. I'm not afraid to lose anything. What I'm afraid of is being a fraud, okay? And listen, dude, you don't ever wanna be a fraud, okay? Like I'll go broke telling the truth before I become a fraud. So anyways, and the cool thing is I've done some crazy shit, so I know the difference between right and wrong and I've made a lot of mistakes. Everybody always goes, dude, you're a great leader. Who is your great leader? dude?" I didn't have one. You know what I did? I did everything wrong and I had a lot of bad leaders. So I just reverse engineered it. What should have gone down here? How should I have treated them? What should I have done? It was all reverse of how we were doing it because I had the worst leaders ever. And anyways, that's how I figure shit out. And you know, like you're the younger generation. So you guys figure stuff out the same way. Yep. Okay. It's common sense, <laughs> right? Common sense. If you don't go to the gym, right? You're not going to get in shape. If you go to the gym one time, you're not gonna get in shape. You gotta go to the gym a lot. Repetition's the mother of skill. You gotta do it more if you wanna get good at something. Okay? You're doing podcasts right now. You do fucking 20 of them. You're not gonna be very good. Once you do 200, you start to get pretty fucking good. When you do 2,000, you're the best in the country. Joe Rogan. Yeah, you're Joe Rogan, man. It's like that's, that's the game. It's just more, 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 more. But you gotta stay obsessed along the way and you gotta be geeked out. And what's the value of the podcast? To bring value to the people on the other side of the camera that are trying to get to where you wanna go or trying to get to another level. And you're hoping that one piece of information, one piece of value could, could, could take them there. Yeah, it's never about me. And that's where I think a lot of podcasters mess up, right? It's mm -hmm. about giving value to the viewers. That's it. We'll try to make it about themselves. Yeah, there's someone on the other side of that camera, which is why it makes it so easy to do this. Because when we decide to talk about openly how we live life, we know there's a hole, there's a, there's a, there's a gap on the other side of that camera in someone's life. And dude, a podcast can change everybody's life. I mean, you can walk into a seminar and leave differently. You can turn on a podcast and you can turn it off differently. Dude, I know people that have watched a podcast 2,000 times in a row. I mean, it's just been like, fuck, dude, like I have to watch this again. Like I, I, like, like I watched it, I heard it, but I need to understand like what's going down. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna watch it again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dude, I've watched some things before literally 2,000 times. There's this thing, it says you can read a book, right? 100 pages one time, or you can read one page 100 times. Some people need to stop right now and read one page 100 times until they understand it. Because dude, if you don't understand it, you're not gonna change, yeah. you know? So I'm just obsessed with once I find something I like, I, I, I believe in total immersion, which means I just immerse deep into it. Yeah. Man, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with you because when I see your content on social media giving sales training, I just assumed you were all about money. Yeah, no. There's a total different side. Yeah, yeah, dude, money is a byproduct of who you are, okay? Remember, if you're broke, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you make money, like, it'll magnify who you are. I was a great broke guy. I loved people when I was broke. I gave a fuck about people when I was broke. Now, I wasn't very educated, which is why I told you the greatest advice I'll ever give you is to out self-develop everybody because that's how I did it. Everybody slowed down. The, the, the last three years, how we built a nine-figure business and how we'll create a billion-dollar business is because I don't slow down. I don't slow down. If you have a mountain right now, everybody needs to write down what they want. Okay, well, you're going to get that. So what's, what's the next mountain? Dude, I know my next nine, nine mountains. Okay, like I'm running over mountains as fast as I can to get to that next mountain. I know what I want. And by the way, time's running out. You know, Tim Grover, we just, uh, he was at our place, did an event with us about a week ago. And he goes, dude, I kept telling Kobe Bryant every day we're running out of time. Wow. He goes, and I wish I was wrong. 
because I wish I was fucking wrong. It's just the truth, man. You don't have as much time as you think you have. So if you really want to do something great, wake the fuck up. Most people are underestimating, underestimating the amount of effort that it's going to take to get the life they want. And that's why we beat everybody. So I'm here to tell people the truth that, dude, it's going to take you 10 times more than you think it's going to take, at least. And you got to be around the right people in proximity, dude, because if you're not, you're fucked. Yeah. Okay? Like, we don't run with anybody we don't want to be around. Dude, I don't hang out with people who I don't want to run with. I'm very careful about what I, what I do. Like, dude, like everything is like, it's so well planned, but also we have a crazy life. You know what I mean? And, and by the way, hey, I'm still that freaking 18-year-old lost kid. I'm still that guy. When I, when I see people, they're like, hey, Andy. I see people like, hey, Andy, sign this. Or, you know, hey, look, can we shoot a video? Fuck yeah, let's go. Let's shoot a video. Let's do everything. I remember one time I looked up to somebody, and I'm going to go back about two years ago when I met him. I was like, dude, you changed my life. Because it was the truth. I said, dude, you changed my life. He's yeah. like, oh, cool, man. Hey, have a blessed day. <laughs> and I was just like, man, you know, like I get that, right? Like people, you know, like I... But like, I was like, dude, like when someone says they change your life, like stop for a fucking minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like I, but, but I'm busy. I got to go. I know, bro. But why did you start this to change people's lives? See, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to give you something after an event. When I speak, I stay for four or five hours and I talk to everybody and take pictures. Wow. You know why? Because the way I felt when I told that guy it changed my life. And then he said, oh, cool, man. I was like, I don't ever want anybody to feel that. If somebody's at home right now consuming your content and they're watching it and they believe in everything you're saying and they've changed their life, if someone ever walks up to you and goes, dude, you changed my life, stop. What's your name? Andy, nice to fucking meet you, man. Mm. Hey, number one, I'm proud of you for doing the work. Number two, I want you to keep going hard, okay? I'm proud of you. I appreciate it. Let me borrow your camera. Let's take a picture. Let's not forget today, okay? Go back at it, brother. See you soon. Wow. Ten more seconds, man. 10 more seconds, you just put that guy on another fucking journey. Mm -hmm. Or, hey man, cool, appreciate it. 10 more seconds, now that guy doesn't want to roll with you no more. Yeah. Okay, and that's how I felt. And hey, by the way, you may say, come on man, get over it. No, dude, listen <laughs> to me. Being a leader is a privilege, okay? So when somebody says that you changed my life, I just don't take it lightly, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. And hey, by the way, look, dude, whether I change one or 20 million, all I want to do is change people's lives. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.